Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are totally checking out the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends Walgreens exclusive The Silver Surfer or The Fallen One or The Obsidian Surfer, whichever you want to call him. Silver Surfer journeys from the distant future to combat the colossal threat of King Thanos with the power of the mighty Mjolnir and this is like what they're kind of doing with Silver Surfer. I don't know. He's fallen one. He fights against King Thanos and Galactus and Cosmic Ghost Rider. And yeah, that's the basic gist of it. It's a lot more complicated. But the artwork on the box is super nice. I got to give them that. Especially since they kind of just flipped the image from the back and on the sides. I'm going to give a shout out to Walgreens and say thanks so much for wrapping this guy up proper. It arrived in bubble wrap with little cushiony things in a cardboard box. So hopefully that continues to go their route of customer service and shipping and handling. So I'll give them the thumbs up. Well done on that. And instead of just doing the regular kind of like, here's the Silver Surfer Fallen one and let's talk about it. He's the same exact figure we've gotten before of a Walgreens exclusive. So why not pull out a bunch of my favorite Silver Surfers and we'll have a bit of a Silver Surfer type who Silver Surfer's best sort of video. There's a lot of Silver Surfers, to be honest with you. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Hasbro Walgreens exclusive, the Obsidian Silver Surfer, or the Fallen One, whatever you want to pick. So we'll kick things off with the Silver Surfer, one of the original ones with the 1992 Marvel Super Heroes Silver Surfer by Toy Biz. An awesome little guy, and he's got some reflective chrome action that just evokes the look of Silver Surfer. You really couldn't ask for something better, and yeah, of course, we all kind of want this for our new Marvel Legends type Silver Surfers. Apparently, it's not the easiest thing to do. I don't make the toys. I'll just sit there and go, ah, well, it's kind of what we want. So hopefully one day they can make this happen again. He does have a lot of screw holes to him, especially on the back. And the face ain't exactly what I think of when I think Norrin Rad. But dang, is he got a cool looking surfboard with wheels on the bottom. Because instead of just zipping him around yourself, you can throw him around, have him driving all over the place in his wheeled surfboard. It's supposed to be fun. Don't think about it too much. His feet just fit right inside the board. And he was one really cool figure for back in the day really fits with the other marvel superheroes if you don't have this guy if you want one of the originals i highly suggest picking up this 1992 marvel superheroes silver surfer and of course my collection will never be complete without my very first silver surfer figure and of course i'm talking about the toy biz 1994 space surfing silver surfer from their fantastic four line based on the marvel action hour Fantastic Four cartoon and yeah right but like you know Spider-Man X-Men right before they went with the whole Silver Surfer animated series which was a very cool series by the way very short-lived unfortunately now this guy was in a specific packaging mine actually came from pick and save for those that remember that old store and it came packaged with a CD-ROM of which I'm sure I still have somewhere and when I do find it one day I'll definitely show you guys. CD-ROM was packed with all kinds of comic book action. I remember popping that in my Mac <laughs> back in the day. That was a lot of fun. He's got some cool reflective paint. Not as reflective, I will say, as the 92 Marvel Super Heroes one. He is kind of a little bit dulled over the years. And this one does come with a cool function. He has a ring on the bottom which allows you to silver surf all over the galaxy. And it was a great play function for kids. I always like this. It's very cool to see all that, you know, and just have them surfing through the cosmos. Oh, man, it was great. So, again, kind of have a lot of screw holes on the back of him. Minimal articulation, kind of cumbersome in the sense trying to really put him in that surfer pose on the board, but his feet fit well. He looks good. He's got that reflective chrome paint. Definitely pick this guy up. Next up is a big old mamma jamma sized version of the previous Silver Surfer we just looked at. 
This is the 1994 Toy Biz Fantastic Fours Silver Surfer Deluxe 10-inch figure. And this one, if you don't have this one, this is the one that you definitely want. He's got that, cr like, so reflective chrome paint to him. He's got an amazing surfboard as well. He's sturdy, he's solid. Has a little bit more mobility to him in his bigger size. Feet do fit. Less where you could see the, the screw holes on the back of him, I guess you could say. He's just a great, huge 10 inch figure. And the face is great. Same exact pose, out, arm outstretched, the backwards hand. It just fits better and he just looks and displays oh so good the board is just as reflective as he is it's large it looks fantastic once you have him displayed on it it is just every bit as jack kirby as you'd want it to be if you don't have this guy he's a he's he's the most must out of these i will tell you that he's a glorious display piece his chrome paint the look the reflections on him he looks like a living alex ross painting jack kirby artwork brought to life you've got to get him now from going from a simpler time to a more articulated time with the marvel legends series toy biz's 2003 series 5 silver surfer that came with howard the duck this is still my favorite articulated silver surfer he is glorious. I love the way he looks. He has a very Jack Kirby face to him. The articulation is, yeah, looking a little bit old, a little bit cumbersome in some instances, but the paint still holds up. He's got a nice blue shine and lights. He is every bit the Silver Surfer I love. The board is magnetic, and that is something that I feel we've been really missing with Silver Surfers. We got spoiled with this one, and I feel like it's one that they've never really been able to recreate. And yeah, like I said, the shoulder, they get a little cumbersome here and there, but the board is great, especially if you have it still connected to the little asteroid rock piece that allows him to move and have some function to him in its posability. Even the little stand will hook to a push pin and you can put them on the wall. That's what was cool about these back in the day. But the magnetic feet on this guy still holds up and just looks so, so cool. If you don't have this one, this is the one that I recommend to everybody. It's still my favorite Silver Surfer. Even at the end of this video, talking about the Walgreens one and everything else, it is still the Silver Surfer to have and one that they really have not been able to recreate thus far. Getting more into the movie situation with Silver Surfer, this is the Hasbro 2007 5-inch figure line that they put out for Fantastic Four 2 Rise of the Silver Surfer. And me being a big fan of the Silver Surfer, I was stoked that he was going to be included in the new movie. Now, what they did with him, you know, it was cool to see him on screen. We'll just say that. And those movies are what they are. Yeah, they're goofy, they're campy. It's fine. The toys were okay, but I did like this Silver Surfer figure. He is more articulated. He's simpler, but he's got a nice board to him. It does have two peg stands on it to fit his feet. He can hold his board. It's a different look for the Silver Surfer. One, not being overly movie inspired. It still is, but it can also retain that comic book goodness to it. Double jointed elbows, knees, all that kind of stuff. This is a good Silver Surfer figure. Now, this is one kind of harkening back to the 10-inch figure. This is the Hasbro 2007 12-inch exclusive to Target Marvel Legends Icon figure. And this guy is grandiose. I love He's so Silver Surfer Requiem that I just absolutely love it. The colors on him, the blues, the silvers the gray, the stardust to it. He has a very see-through board at one part, and it goes into a solid part as well. There are stands on the board. You can fit his feet. He looks naturalistic on there. You kind of have to fidget with him a little bit, 
But I like the outstretched hand, the more surfing hand to him. He's got great articulation for being a figure from 2007, so I'll give him that all day. But it's just the colors to him. It evokes the loneliness of the Silver Surfer yearning for Shalabal and to return to his home planet. His board splits into two parts for easy compactability. If you wanted to stack them up on a shelf, maybe the board doesn't fit. It is very long, but like I said, the board is painted beautifully. It's see-through on one end, and it goes to a solid color. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. If you don't have this one, yeah, I'm going to tell you just like the others, you definitely need this Silver Surfer. Next up is, of course, 2018's Marvel Legends Hasbro's Walgreens exclusive Silver Surfer, and really part of why we're kind of doing this video. We got this guy back in the day. He had extra hands. He had some energy effects to him, and he was good. He was good for what it is, and I do like the paint on him. Some of it, a lot of people did report, you know, a lot of chippage here and there. Mine, Thank God didn't really suffer that fate, but I have seen ones here and there. And yeah, you got to be careful with them because it could still happen to this day. I wasn't a big fan of the board. It's only got one peg. He's a little bit cumbersome to stand on it. And I think that's where magnets would really come into play. When you stack them up against this new obsidian fallen one silver surfer, it's the exact same figure. Except he comes with Mjolnir now. And... The new one actually brings out a little bit more depth to this figure, whereas the original Walgreens release uh, could have used a little bit more paint here and there. I do like having a different version of the Silver Surfer. It's unique. It goes with my Silver Surfers because technically this one, I don't have this version. So I definitely like it in that regards. And he does come with several effects. Now he comes with like more pink energy effects, which we've seen before. He comes with Thor's Mjolnir, so he's the worthy Silver Surfer, if you wanted to call him that as well. Extra hands, although I wish he did have the open surfing hands, really, or you could say energy zapping hands, whatever you want to say, but it, it it's nice that he comes with so many effects. The board matches his coloring as well. He looks good on it, but it does suffer the same sort of problems that I had with the previous Walgreens release he's just okay and that's okay if he's just okay but it's not like they're breaking down walls and going like look, look what we did i think an extra head or maybe one or two extra heads would have been great you know in the comics you always see this version of silver surfer gritting his teeth angry something to that degree while it doesn't exactly fit the ideas that i have for the silver surfer in my head being that this is a different type of character for the silver surfer i think that that would have really added some brevity to it really be able to switch up the looks because otherwise he's kind of doing the same somber look doing evil things going after cosmic ghost rider or king thanos and i just think that that extra little smirking head or straight from the comics something to that degree angry head would have really benefited this figure if you have let's say the cosmic ghost rider that came out last year he's gonna go great with him and if you haven't already he is starting to ship now so depending on when you see this video, but you could get the King Thanos figure as well. So you kind of get two looks and these all go together. Maestro's coming out. They're kind of hitting all those cosmic entities one after another, all in one grouping. So you don't have to wait too long unless you have them from prior releases, which, hey, those will go together well. But I love this cosmic ghost rider. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look back at most of the Silver Surfers in my collection. These are the, the favorite ones. These are the ones that I always go, oh, you got to get that one. Oh, you got to get this one. I have other things here. They got <laughs> Mighty Mugs and, and Toy Biz, you know, Silver Surfer animated. But these were the ones that I always think about when I go, you know, what's the different to really correlate well with this whole Obsidian Silver Surfer as well? What's the different ones that kind of go with them? I do recommend any of these. These are fun. These are different I love the shiny paint. If we can someday return to that for a Silver Surfer, that would be ideal. Again, I don't make the toys, but I would love to see that. I'm curious to know what you guys think, though, about the new Walgreens Obsidian Silver Surfer. Do you have him? Do you need to get him? He did ship out. That's where I got him from, from the Walgreens website. He will probably return to the website, and he is hitting stores now, very lightly. So look for him starting now into the coming weeks. But as far as these Silver Surfers go, 
Did you have any of them? Do you still have them? Do you need to get them? And if so, which one and which is your favorite so far? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Silver Surfer. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, if we ever get a full-on Marvel Legends Silver Surfer wave, oh man, they could do some awesome, awesome character selections in that. Fingers crossed for a movie, right? And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.